Well, COVID cases are on the rise in South Texas and in Bear County. The good news, hospitalizations and deaths remain low. Ken's 5 reporter Jeremy Baker spoke to local health professionals to find out why cases are up and when the updated booster will become available. Jeremy. Deborah, a big reason why the numbers are up because kids are back in school and that means more people closer together indoors, a perfect recipe to spread the virus. Viruses are constantly changing, including the virus that causes COVID-19. So these changes occur over time and can lead to new strains, and it can be expected to see an increase based on these strains. With an increase in cases, one might expect new guidance from the CDC. There's not any new guidance other than the guidance to receive that booster when it becomes available, which actually is going to be pretty soon, fortunately. Next Tuesday, the CDC and Prevention Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices is scheduled to meet to look at the latest COVID booster. If approved, it could be available as early as late next week for high-risk groups, then the end of September for the general population. The vaccine is just for one variant, XBB.1.5, which is an Omicron variant and the main one circulating, but both Pfizer and Moderna have published results saying the vaccine works well against B.A.2.86, that variant, which is so far has not popped up in large numbers. That was one that people were concerned about because it had several mutations that made it different from the strain that's in the booster. In Bear County this week, there are 2,656 new cases of COVID-19. There was one COVID death in the past week with a total over 6,200. And in Bear County, the COVID-19 hospital admission level remains at low. Consult with your medical provider and also, you know, catch up with your routine vaccinations and make sure you're getting the most up-to-date COVID-19 vaccine. To make an appointment with Metro Health for your COVID vaccine and for a list of pop-up clinics, just head to this story on Kens5.com. Jeremy Baker, Kens5.